I do want to also provide information today about the process of case investigations and contact tracing and what role contact tracing plays in slowing the spread of COVID-19. Case investigation and contact tracing, for starters, is always confidential, and it's a relatively simple process that's been used by public health departments for decades to slow the spread of infectious diseases and to manage outbreaks. When a person tests positive for a contagious virus like COVID-19, it is important to find out where that person may have been and who they were in close contact with while they could transmit the disease to others so that we can let anyone know that they may have been exposed uh, to somebody who was positive. Contact tracing involves identifying and interviewing every person who has been a close contact with someone who is a suspected or confirmed case of COVID-19. And this allows us to then ask those who are contacts have been exposed to quarantine so that they can be monitored for signs and symptoms of the disease. Case investigation involves receiving a case report from a healthcare provider or a confirmed lab uh, report of a person who's confirmed to have the infection. We then interview the cases uh, and we educate them on how to prevent spreading it to others and to make sure that they know how to self-isolate until they're no longer likely to spread the disease. Working with the case helps them, we work with the case so that they can recall everyone with whom they had a close contact during the time frame in which they could spread the infection to others. And for COVID-19, this is 48 hours before you develop symptoms or you went to get tested. Contact tracing means that we interview and notify those exposed individuals of their potential exposure and their risk for developing the disease as rapidly and as sensitively as possible. We always protect the privacy of the case. When we contact close contacts, we do not let them know the name of the person who was positive because this information is protected information. Um, but we do let contacts know not only that they need to quarantine, but we give them information uh, and education so that they can understand their risk, uh, the importance of adhering to the quarantine measures, they can monitor themselves for signs and symptoms, and they can call us if they start feeling sick. Public health has over 1,500 people that work as case investigators and contact tracers. And we're very grateful to other county departments in the city of LA for augmenting our team of contact tracers. Uh, if the number of new daily cases for COVID-19 does rise, then we will add more contact tracers to make sure that we're able to reach people within 24 hours of us receiving a confirmed case. I do want to note that a contact tracer will never, ever ask for your social security number, your documented status, or ask you for money. So if you talk to somebody that says that they're doing contact tracing and they ask for any of this information, please note that this is a scam. There is no one from the public health department that will ever ask you for this information. And when we call you on most of your phones, it will say public health department uh, as the source of the call. We do ask that you please respond to our calls. If you get a message from us, it's so important that you call us back. Your information is confidential, uh, but we need your help so that we can make sure you know how to isolate and we can get in touch with any close contacts. It's also important to note that if you're waiting for your results, we do ask that you self-quarantine uh, while you're waiting for your results and you stay away from other people. Uh, because it takes some time for people to get their results, this is especially important. Um, I do want to know that our, I do want everyone to also know that our ability to do this work quickly depends on when the testing lab reports the results of a positive test to us, whether the report we get from a lab or a provider contains the individual's complete and correct contact information, and whether or not an individual responds in a timely way to our calls. When these factors don't happen, it's impossible for us to do contact tracing. So contact tracing, it's an important tool, 
but we also ask everyone to take responsibility. If you know you're positive, uh, you can isolate. You can identify your close contacts while you're waiting for a call. I want to close by expressing my gratitude to everyone across our community.